former presidential advisor on the peace process and retired AFP Chief of Staff General Carlito Galvez, was recently appointed by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. as the new Secretary of National Defense. With this development, it is likely will have a positive impact on the ongoing modernization program of the armed force of the Philippines. For one, it hopes to bring leadership stability in the Department of National Defense, which lack a full-fledged head, as its former OIC senior undersecretary Jose Faustino Jr. was not yet appointed as a Secretary of National Defense, due to reasons only President Marcos can explain. Now that there is a Secretary of National Defense, there is now someone who can lead and decide on behalf of the department and for the armed forces of the Philippines. One of the biggest positive notes would be his ability to finalize negotiations and sign contracts involving procurements of major projects of the AFP modernization program. This is important since there has been no major defense project that moved to implementation phase since President Marcos took office last July 2022. While funding has been an issue since no sufficient budget for use during the second half of fiscal year 2022, the lack of Secretary of National Defense to implement defense projects will reflect on President Marcos' performance and sincerity to support to improve the country's defense and security, especially that we are now under fiscal year 2023 and funding should be available anytime soon. As we previously reported back in late 2022, the Philippine Air Force appears to be the one to benefit the most as many of their second list of Horizon 2 projects are already in different levels of pre-procurement stage, since the final days of former Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana. This includes the ATR-72 MPA long-range patrol aircraft. The acquisition of C-130J Super Hercules transport aircraft and the additional NC-212I Aviocar light lift aircraft. Meanwhile, discussions are already said to be in advanced stages for the additional T-129B attack helicopter, also known as the attack helicopter phase 3 acquisition. The additional Embraer A-29B Super Tucano close air support aircraft, also known as the close air support aircraft phase 2. And of course, the multi-role fighter aircraft acquisition projects which likely be the Saab JAS 39C, D Gripen fighter aircraft. This could be finalized as well within 2023 if initial funding can be secured. The budget for the long-range patrol aircraft, additional new transport aircraft and additional light lift aircraft have already been included under the FY 2023 defense budget, while the president may use other means of funding like unprogrammed funds to start the other projects. As we mentioned before, we already have confirmation that the initial payment for the MRF acquisition project may actually use unprogrammed funds. Again, many of these projects especially the combat aircraft types will be under the discretion of the president and majority of this procurement have a higher price tag. The ball is now in president's hands. We wish the best of luck for the Marcos administration to successfully acquired all the big ticket project of AFP modernization programs.